Have I told you how much I miss you? I missed you. Yeah, I appreciate it. You're bringing it today, man. You have been on <laughs> fire. I've been I've been uh, sitting back applauding everything that's going on, dude. So I appreciate everything you're uh, everything you have pent up and you're willing to nice. let go of. Because that was a great explanation of nibbling, because guys that you know have the utmost confidence in their stuff are throwing 95 to 100 miles an hour, or have that blowout slider. You know they just they chuck it in there and hope for the best kind of thing, as opposed to those guys who are, man, if I leave a pitch out over there, I'm going to get crushed. So I got to stay on the edges, and if they're not on the edges, they end up walking guys and then giving up the big one. I thought that was a really good explanation explanation of of what you know nibbling is and nibbling means that you're staying on the edges of the zone not leaving pitches out over the plate but in doing so sometimes you've missed the plate and end up giving up some walks and base runners right absolutely you know i appreciate you saying that here's another thing and i can just speak from personal experience there were games where maybe i was pitching late in the game or i knew it was kind of my last inning or something but if you're pitching with confidence and things are going well it wasn't about the velocity or the movement. It was almost more important to just throw the pitch with confidence to where you wanted to. Like you, you could feel that momentum, and I still feel it sometimes watching like playoff baseball. Like you, you can, can you see, can feel it and see it in those pit players, can't you? Yeah, you can. You yeah. can almost go. You know what? This guy's taking really good swings right now. That doesn't mean he's going to get a hit. But if he smashes one at the third base and he makes a diving play, you're like, you know, I could see that happening because he was on the pitches where. You know, I never threw 95, but I, you know, I could be in a game where it's a one, two count and throw a ball 90 miles an hour right down the middle with confidence and have a guy swing through it and be like, you know, yeah, I I threw that with confidence. I knew what was happening. I knew I could get the guy out. Like I looked him in the eye. He looked me in the eye. He didn't look as confident as I felt. And I think Mm -hmm. that that's a really, you know, this is where that analytics versus the eyeball test kind of, you know, as you already touched on comes to fruition but it's really funny how how it's a feeling an instinct that will tell you what the outcome's going to be and when you have guys you know like you said that are able to throw the ball so hard these days and you see them struggling i almost always want to just give them a i want to give them a phone call right and be like hey (laughs) like you know what you have the stuff right you got to believe in it welcome to david tuttle's consulting service (laughs) there you go believe it right is it, i think we've said that before that's the thing yes believe yeah. in your stuff yeah so that's all i got all right. on that topic right that's no that's outstanding yeah but you pull back the curtain a little bit and, and confidence does have a lot to do with it and that's why i'm going to throw it right back to you